All right, handbrake's going to be stuck on this. This is a YouTube video. I uh, don't know what log we're on at the moment, but we've done all the work we need to do on it. Engine's all back together again. Everything's good. He's going to crank it over, and we're going to try and move it. So, go ahead. <laughs> no exhaust. Wasn't as stuck as we thought it was going to be. Right, I'll pause it here. So we've moved the van and we've put the little yellow Fiat in the way. And if you don't know, what we've got a little yellow Fiat, which we don't use very often. And, uh, <laughs> well, it's a bit of a difference in size, isn't it? <laughs> It literally is tiny, <laughs> and there's still loads of room behind it. For, for instance, okay, that black mark there is where the wheel, the wheel was. I was about to do a Stewie Griffin there, the wheel. The wheel was for the Avico, and the rear wheel for the Avico, and the overhang for the Avico was that much. This vice was under the underneath it. So it literally went to here. Yeah. Eh, a little bit of a size difference. Check these two. Two thugs look. That one without the torch. Whoa. Gotta watch out for her. It's smaller, isn't it, that thing? A little bit smaller. And my granddad. <laughs> Fun stuff. Ah oh dear. Now to bring all of the stuff back down here again and clutter it all up. Fun. Looks good. Looks really good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a few more on the corners that needs to be done. Yeah, um, I just don't want it to fall down and damage the insulation. Yeah. What are you doing? Making noise. A lot. Yeah, some noise. I'm pretty sure our headphone uh, listeners will be quite happy with that. I'll have to mute this section of video slightly. Yeah. Bring the volume right down. Yeah. <laughs> it is working rather well. Typical. Someone's already done it like here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, they've hit something. Yeah, flattened it out. Oh. I wish I could see, I don't know if I'm tall enough to actually... You can see it um, oh, can put the camera from in there the locker. You can see there. Oh, that's what you're trying to do a lot. Look at that there. Yeah. Trying to get a nice flat edge. So when he puts the thingy over it, the vent is going to sit nice and flush. And not up at an angle. Quite nice. You got any more to do? Yeah. On the back? Uh, the back's fine. Is it? Yeah, I don't, don't think it's going to have to be done on the back. 
that will just that little bit of a edge there that be will fine. be silicon yeah okay then this is a bit of a pain though because when you knock it in on one part it knocks out a bit on the other yeah it's going to do that because of the yeah the design but a slight discrepancy isn't that bad exactly you got the, the thing up there it's the a million times there. better oh, than it do, was yeah. anyway let me just keep doing this a bit and then yeah, we'll try on. it about as good as you're going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. With the design. So the idea what we're doing here is a really, really thick plate being somewhat supported by this support which has probably now gone slack. Yes it has. <laughs> yeah, I needed a bit of slack. You can take it out. Right, wait a second. You don't want to drop that. It'll make a dint in the floor. Yeah. And that has made a bit of a better. Oh, it's a lot better edge. than it was. Yeah. Yeah, I've not got half as much to fill in, and the when it's screwed on, it will pull it. Into yeah, shape. it will pull it into shape. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Good stuff. All right. So it's night time, and. Uh, <laughs> We have got the door mounted. We have taken this rail off. I think you saw it on the previous video. All been painted behind it. Um, we have cut an old inner tube and actually put it behind this as a bit of a seal because uh, it never had one originally, which was quite nice. Uh, I just use these foam pads, just to, well, like foam washers. But uh, yeah, and instead of using the old nuts with. Um, locking washers which are all rotted away we've used stainless steel nylocks and just normal washers um, I think that will work perfectly fine uh, yeah we've got the hole on the roof which is a bit of a shame we're going to, have to leave it overnight we've actually painted around it because uh, that's what so many people do is they will cut a hole in the roof and then not paint it and then they'll be wondering why their, say, windows that they've cut in the side of the van, why after a couple of years time it's all rusting out underneath. Well, it's because you never painted it. What do you expect? I don't believe in them. So, yeah. Crazy. Uh, left the grinder up there. Best, uh, let's get that down. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we went to one of our local scrapyards and cut a big skylight out of a bus. A uh, big, like, emergency exit skylight, but I reckon it's going to be too big for this. It would have to go in that middle panel here, and it would take up that whole space. It is just that big. Two people could fit for it. It's that big. I just think it's too big, to be honest. It looks small on the bus, but on this van it would be massive. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that should do it for this video. Not much of one, I'm afraid, but we haven't got the bottom runner on this thing because it's currently in the garage painting. Uh, painted, shall I say. Uh, yeah. All good. This door does sit a little better than the other one. Um, even without the bottom runner on. When it's closed and latched to, it actually sits really nice. No gap at the top. And that's even without the uh, seal around the door. Which is impressive to say the least. You can't see daylight through it. So yeah, it just needs a bloody good clean. Got the state of it. Uh, but it doesn't matter. This is pretty much dent free with the exception of a few dents just here. You just see that little bit of a dent in there. But it's nothing compared to how bad the other one was. The other one was caved in to the extent that the whole bottom of the van look is caved in. Look at that dent there, look. And there's that one there. <laughs> All that was done while the door was closed. And 
See at the bottom of the door, it was horrific. This one's really nice and clean underneath. Yep, that'll do for the video. Let's get to tidying up and tidying away. Got our flashing beacons in the window, of course. Which a couple have fallen down. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Peace out.